welcome to a slightly different video this week where we're going to be looking at in painting as in so many other areas of life things don't always go to plan the first time around but that's no reason to panic we all make mistakes if you haven't already signed up to my youtube channel i'd love you to and don't forget to click the bell so you always get the updates on latest videos so we start off with paint mixing for what I thought was going to be a really amazing background to the next painting. I was dead set here on making a palette full of beautiful colours that all went well together and I went ahead and mixed up some really bright um, beautiful colours like this gorgeous yellow and I was using a different blue that I didn't normally use. I was dead excited and mixed up all this wonderful array of colours. There were some cool colours, some warm colours, and I wanted to get the palette really popping together. They looked great and I was so focused on these colours and how they went together that I hadn't really thought of how they were going to go onto the painting board when I started. So here's me mixing my blues. I've got a patho blue, which is not the normal blue that I would use. And I'd already mixed some nice tones of that blue and then I was mixing in some green, some yellow. They were quite natural colors and I was going for a sort of abstract landscape again. But I was adding in some gorgeous orange as well. And as I started to paint, as soon as I watched this video back, I could see that I didn't even start right with that very first line. <laughs> what I'd failed to do was get my ruler out. You've seen these videos before. I always get my ruler out and draw that horizon line on first of all. And did I? No. I just went ahead and whacked it on without measuring it first mistake. So it's really interesting to me to watch this back because I can see straight away from the word go that I wasn't concentrating on this at all. I just thought about those colours and I hadn't thought about what to do with them next. I wasn't using a picture reference again but I hadn't done with the others and maybe I'd got a bit cocky, I don't know. I'd thought, oh the others have gone really well. I'll just make some really wild colour combinations and they'll look even better. And of course that doesn't always work. So here I am just putting some sky colours on. Um, I've got the blues going on there which are quite nice. But I'm taking my time over it quite a lot. I'm not really um, doing what I would normally do which is to get the colours down in the areas of the board that I want them to be initially and then smooth them. I'm actually sort of smoothing them in as I go, which is a different technique to what I would normally do. And that's why it turned out that this didn't work. I just wasn't following any of my logical processes that I normally do. And going against a lot of the things that um, I often tell people <laughs> not to do myself. Um, and I was doing all those things. I was mixing in colours here. Some of the orange was going into the blue already. So I'm already muckying up that lovely blue that I've so carefully mixed by putting it next to that yellow and then smudging it in. And I'm using the same brush again to go back and dip into other colours to add them in. So that brush has already been on the yellow, the orange, the white, the blue. And because of that, the colours aren't going to be as bright as they were when I mixed them. I know that, and I don't know why I'm doing it, but here I go. <laughs> so, watching this back is really interesting for me, because I can't remember what I was thinking when I was painting this, but it is so clear to me now that I, my mind wasn't on it. And how often does that happen? I mean, it happens all the time. We've all done it. We've all started a project and either gone in blasé and thought, oh, I know what I'm doing, it's all going to work out fine, or just not 
thinking about it, thinking about other things. Maybe my mind was on something else, usually food, what I was going to have for dinner. I mean, anything is possible. And it just never works out. And I should have known, really should have known. But, you know, we're all human, aren't we? So I'm using the, the same brush here um, for each colour and I'm, going, I'm dipping into all the different colours and mixing them in as I go and it's really not going to work out. You'll see as we go through that I'm, I'm blending in and, and mixing in colours far too much and they end up just muting each other down and not being those bright vivid colours that I wanted originally. And I didn't put that horizon line in, did I? So um, my horizon's all off. It's right wonky, and goodness knows where that's going to end up, but it's, it's not going to be straight. <laughs> I'm going back over the horizon now uh, with a darker blue. Same brush again. I haven't, I haven't mi mixed the brushes at all. Um, so all the colours are, are mixed in together on that same brush. Very, very bad. <laughs> I've gone over that horizon about three times now and it still doesn't look right and yet I'm carrying on. Now I'm putting some yellow on top of the bluey orange that I've already put down which is going to go green and I didn't really want green I don't think there but for some reason I'm, I'm ploughing on. Now I'm adding some green I suppose because the green's been mixed in there and I thought well I might put some green on goodness knows what my plan was here you can kind of see or I can see that I'm I'm taking a much um, more tentative approach now with the bottom half of this um, I wasn't focused on where the colors were going so I, I was trying to come up with a plan as I went and it wasn't working um, I hadn't thought about where the colors were going to go before I started and my mind just wasn't clear. I don't know why I'm using that same brush to blend in the colours. Uh, it's never going to work. <laughs> I can see that now. I can see it now. Now I've changed brushes and I've gone to one of my favourite smoothing brushes, which is a um, fairly large nylon, very soft brush. And I've started blending in all the colours without finishing off the bottom of the board there. I haven't actually put paint all the way down to the bottom of the board yet so I don't know why I've swapped to my blending brush and now I'm adding more colour on top uh, with that blending brush which again not something I would ever normally do because the blending brush is just for blending, for the, the colours that I've already put on the canvas normally. So to add colour onto the brush isn't going to give you a very good blend. Um, so that's mistake number, whatever we're up to now. <laughs> it's all going wrong. So I'm continuing blending away with my nice brush, all covered in various colours of paint. Everything's going to get really badly mixed together here because I'm picking up paint as I go and moving it on top of other paint, which isn't dry. And uh, that is something that I do to an extent when I'm painting a background, but here I've, I've got colour that I've added on top of the brush afterwards, and it's now getting mixed in onto the under layer. So it's muddying up all those nice bright colours, which is completely opposite to what I normally would do. I'd normally be very careful to blend in each area, starting from the lightest, going to the darkest, so that you're not doing that, you're not picking up colour as you go. And if you remember back at the beginning, there was some really lovely bright uh, sky blue next to that yellow, and I'm just losing it here. I'm, I'm losing the, the brightness of that yellow. I'm going over the top of it with some 
orangey tone next to that blue, picking up the blue as well. So it's going slightly greenish when they all blend into together. Um, and that's really not the effect that I was going for. That color palette that I mixed up has been lost, essentially. Now I've got the smaller brush out again and I'm going back over that horizon, which still isn't straight and I still don't know what I'm doing with it. Why I'm going over it again, don't know. I thought perhaps it needed some of that darker colour in it. Um, but again, that darker colour over the top of the yellow into that sky now is going to get really mixed together in not a good way. Uh, and the horizon isn't clear, I didn't have a, an idea of what was going on with it. I'm, I'm trying to make some sort of a, a definition of light pattern coming down onto the, the lower half here now with some white going on. But uh, again, because I'm using the same brush, um, it's got colour on it already, so by putting white onto that brush it's, it's now not a pure white. Um, and it's probably not giving me the effect that I wanted it to have. Which is why I ended up so disappointed with this background. And like I said before, maybe my mind wasn't on it. Um, maybe I was thinking about something else completely. And I think that showed to me when I went back and looked at this later on. Um, I could see that I wasn't really concentrating when I was doing it. It was quite obvious. And so it was never meant to be. But these things happen and we're all human and we all make mistakes and I wanted to show everyone that I am sometimes really unhappy with what I produce and it doesn't matter, that's how life goes and you can't really knock yourself for it and this happens to me all the time and sometimes they get put in the bin and no one ever sees them. And People often comment on Instagram and, and Twitter and YouTube about how I make things look effortless and it's just not the case because you have to remember that you're watching an edited video and sometimes um, the stuff that doesn't work out just doesn't get put in <laughs> but this time it's all in <laughs> and you're seeing warts and all um, what can go wrong very easily. Um, I'm still going here, adding in more colour onto the, the wet colour in the background, um, something that I wouldn't normally do. Um, I've picked up different colours with the same brush and they're all going to get muddied together in that lovely yellow tone of the sky. It's completely disappearing. Um, and I'm going to flip back to the beginning here so that you can see what the colours actually were like. They were so bright and vivid and they've got lost completely. <laughs> it's weird. It's funny watching it back, um, but I think it's quite interesting. So here I am, I'm almost finished now. Um, I'm still going for some reason, putting some more green on. Um, I think uh, I was trying to make a kind of a landscape come to life here, but with no real direction. So eventually I'm going to leave it um, and <laughs> I'm going to let it dry. And I'll be in two minds as to whether to chuck it in the bin or do something else with it. And I decided to do something else with it this time and paint over it. So after a couple of days it was dry and I thought I need to rescue this painting, I need to make it go with the others, I need to give it some warmth, um, some softness, I don't want that harsh green in it, I wasn't happy with the blue, so I mixed up um, a much softer, calmer palette of colours, um, fewer colours as well and put more pink and uh, softer blue in there. And then I decided to paint over it. And I was so happy that I did. So what I was trying to do was to mute down all the muddy colors 
that I had destroyed in my first layer. I'd mixed some lovely colours but they just got destroyed as I put them on the canvas and I wanted to get rid of all them and just make a very warm toned, gentle background. Some of the colours were showing through slightly as I went up the canvas and that was fine. Um, I was just blending them in but I was really sort of flattening out the mistakes as it were and isn't it great that we can do this sometimes in life? <laughs> we just give ourselves a second chance and that's what it was. Because I'd uh, left the layers pretty smooth underneath it was easy to paint over and um, with the pink going on next to the yellow here it it just kind of smoothed everything out. It looked calmer, it looked fresh, it looked really nice and I was happy with that. So that's my lesson to you all today. Don't take anything that you see on Instagram as the real deal <laughs> because very often there's been stuff gone wrong in the past, it's been painted over, edited out. It's just what happens in life and it doesn't matter. You can go over it, you can ditch it, you can try again. This is how we learn. And I think sometimes it's good to just acknowledge all the processes that go along with painting. And, and one of them is stuff goes wrong. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and listening to my <laughs> rambling explanation. <laughs> and um, look out for the final painting and what becomes of it in the end. Uh, I was really happy with it. So take care everyone and um, come back next time.